The cell cycle of eukaryotic cells, which is typically much longer than that of prokaryotic cells, is divided into two major phases, interphase and mitosis, or the M phase. Interphase is the stage in the cell cycle in which a cell acquires energy and nutrients from the environment, grows, and duplicates its chromosomes. During mitosis, the chromosomes duplicated during interphase are separated to form two new nuclei. The later stages of mitosis are usually accompanied by a division of the cytoplasm into two daughter cells in a process called cytokinesis. Let's look at each of these phases in turn, starting with interphase. Cells often spend 90% of, or even their entire lives, in the interphase portion of the cell cycle. Throughout interphase, cells acquire energy and nutrients from the environment, grow, and carry out their specialized functions. However, a number of significant events occur during interphase that has caused biologists to divide interphase into three subphases. G1, which stands for first gap, S, which stands for synthesis stage, and G2, which stands for second gap. G1 is the phase after the most recent cell division and before the duplication of chromosomes starts. A large percentage of a cell's growth usually occurs during the G1 phase. However, some cells, such as the first cells to divide in animal embryos, do so very rapidly, with little or no growth between divisions and virtually no G1 phase. Later in the G1 phase, at a time referred to as the restriction point, cells undergo an internal evaluation of their ability to complete the cell cycle and produce two viable daughter cells. If the evaluation is negative, the cell does not go on to the mitosis phase, but rather exits the cell cycle to enter a non-dividing state called the GO phase. If the evaluation is positive, the cell becomes committed to DNA replication and mitosis. The restriction point can also be thought of as a point of no return for cell division. If a cell is going on to mitosis, it begins to produce proteins called histones that are critical to organizing and condensing chromosomes during mitosis. As the production of histones peaks, the S phase of interphase begins. During the S phase, duplicate copies of each chromosome are synthesized. This process can take quite a while as many eukaryotes have a large number of very long chromosomes. For example, human cells have to duplicate 46 chromosomes, each 1,000 to 5,000 times the diameter of the nucleus in length when stretched out. After chromosomes are duplicated in the S phase, G2, which is usually the shortest phase of interphase, begins. During G2, cells further ready for mitosis by synthesizing various proteins and other molecules that will be required for both mitosis and cytokinesis.